All right, hands down, the craziest missile in active development today has to be DARPA's Gunslinger. This air-launched missile is meant to engage targets on the ground or in the air using an onboard cannon. Serving in counterinsurgency and close air support operations like an A-10 Warthog or riddling enemy aircraft with high explosive rounds from as far as 10,000 feet out. Now, DARPA started development on this weapon about two years ago, and since then, details have been very limited. And while I'm not sure I'd bet this missile will find its way into service, if it actually does, chances are good it'll carry some iteration of one of the airborne cannons that are already in service today in order to keep developmental production and support costs down. So let's talk about the firepower this missile could potentially carry. The first system, and maybe the most likely that this missile could carry, would be the M61A2 Vulcan. Now this is the iteration of the famed 20mm cannon carried by the F-22 Raptor, and it fires these very large 20mm rounds at a rate of 6,000 rounds per minute. That's roughly 100 of these every second, practically a laser beam. Now, the F-22 carries 480 of these, which is enough for about 4.8 seconds of sustained fire. And altogether, the weapon and all 480 rounds weigh in at around 476 pounds and stretch about 72 inches long, small enough to fit in a lot of air-launched weapons. But if you want bigger firepower than this, well, then you could go with the GAU 22 a found in the F-35A, which fires these 25 millimeter rounds. Now, the GAU 22A is effectively a baby GAU 8 pulled right out of the Warthog. It fires smaller rounds and has fewer barrels, but functions in a very similar fashion. The F-35 carries 180 of these much larger high explosive rounds, and the GAU 22A four barrel cannon can fire them at around 3,300 rounds per minute. That's roughly 55 per second. Now, altogether, the GAU 22A is about 82 inches long and with a full load of 180 rounds weighs in at around 346 pounds, which again is small enough to be carried inside of any number of air-launched weapons that are already in service. But if you really want to maximize the firepower in this gunslinger missile, this isn't going to cut it either, and you're going to need the 30 millimeter GAU 8 Avenger currently found in the A-10 Thunderbolt II, better known as the Warthog. Now, these rounds weigh about a pound and a half each, and the weapon itself weighs in at roughly 620 pounds and happens to be about 19 feet long. So that would need to be a very, very big missile. However, with a firing rate of around 3,900 rounds per minute, you could deliver 65 of these massive projectiles per second. And while the GAU-8 that fires these and the A-10 standard loadout of some 1,174 rounds weighs in at around 4,000 pounds, if you were to give the weapon only 200 rounds or so, well, then we'd be at more like 926 pounds. So aside from the cannon itself being 19 feet long, that weight is at least somewhat manageable for an air-launched weapon. And if all of this sounds a bit crazy to you, well, maybe it should. Not every DARPA program ultimately manifests into an operational system. The only real way to find out if concepts like this may work is to explore them and throw a few million dollars worth of R&D their way. But that doesn't mean it'll always pan out. So what do you guys think? Is DARPA's gunslinger missile a good idea? Or should it be shot down before it ever takes off?